Hello. Today I'm going to show you guys how to manage the um, Civil War aspect of Rome 2 Total War. Um, so, first, you. A lot of people don't know it's, um, when you press tab to go to the tactical view. There is a button for political party affiliation. So by selecting this, it gives you an, a view of the poli political controls over um, your territory. So I have four parties in my, um, you know, in my game here, and the white one is Iron X, is taking control of mostly um, this part of Africa. And Hill Warriors clan is taking control over Greek, Greece and um, part of Italy and um, Syracuse. And Warhorse clan is taking over mostly um, the minor Asia, Asia Minor and Egypt here. So what you, some of you might ask, okay, what is this information for? Well, this is for when you, in this case, you don't, in this game that I'm showing, you don't see it, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you have, um, some, at some point in your game, encounter risk of a civil war being high percentage such as 20%, 40%, who knows, but if the party's loyalty is low and or if another reason for um, to, for that information is if you want to convert from kingdom to empire, you might not want to wait until they revolt naturally, you might want to provoke the civil war by Constantly, sorry, constantly pressing perch here. And what does perch do? It decreases loyalty of the party tremendously. So that will provoke them into a civil war going against the empire, against Jew. And this information will help you prep for it by moving your armies to the um, the territories as you can see here most of my army right now is concentrated in the middle east and so if i want to provoke a civil war i have to move my armies to africa and egypt and greece before i um, that's how I would prep for it. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.